Hi guys, it's France. Welcome to week 96 of the Journal on Monday series. I'm starting with some flat shot and it's a powder by Lindy Stem Gang, which I mixed up with two thirds of clear gesso and one third of acrylic glazing liquid. And I'm apply applying it using a sponge over a crafter's workshop, workshop stencil. <laughs> it dries pretty fast, so I'm just going over it very quickly with my heat gun. But when I'm doing so, I realized that on the left uh, page I didn't have enough um, shading. So it was just a straight line instead of fluidly disappearing into the paper. So I added some more and I'm drying it again and then I'm adding some Flat Fabio which is a spray um, that I mixed up with water. Now as you can see I'm totally out of my comfort zone as far as the colors are concerned. I decided that it was enough with the blue already. <laughs> so today I'm using pink, orange and grey way 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 out of my comfort zone so after i blended the flat shot with some uh, the flat fabio sorry with some water i dried it again and now i'm applying some uh, tim holtz tissue tape going around the spread using gelato and this will allow me to add a darker shading to the edge of my spread then using some water and just going in with my finger, I'm blending it and I'm using a dry peach piece of um, kitchen towel to blend it even more and to tone it down. As I said in the beginning of this video, this is week 96, which means that the big hundred is coming pretty close and I'm inviting you to celebrate it with me. So if you would like to know how I will celebrate it, check out my blog you'll see the link at the end of the video um, and on the same blog you will find the complete list of ingredients that i'm using today with all the color specifications and product names i wanted to add a little bit more orange so i'm going back in with uh, the flat fabio and some water and then again drying it of course Now this might seem scary, but I can assure you it's very fun to do. So I'm ripping the page of my art journal. Uh, I, today I know what it is what I want to do, so I know why I'm ripping this. And though it might seem scary to you, um, it's okay with me because I know where I'm going. So I'm taking out a strip of this page. And then again I'm using some gelato to have the same grey edge. Um, around this missing strip and at first I, I was a bit afraid to go all the way to the middle of my journal but then I decided it was okay to do so my book won't fall apart and then again blending it with some water now before I started tearing the paper apart I had to make sure that everything was completely dry so if you want to do this dry your paper completely I'm rolling um, how is this called it's a uh, cutter bee bugs and it distresses paper like if someone has been sewing all around and then took the thread out again I'm adding a strip of uh, printed Tim Holtz paper and I'm gluing this down on the next page in my channel so that it's just peeking through the opening. And now I can go on and glue down the paper on the next page. The binding thread was disturbing me because it had picked up a lot of the orange color and it was really, well you cannot see it on the video, but it was really right there in your face. So I wanted to tone it down a bit, so I'm using the same uh, grey gelato and just some water 
and rubbing it on the thread so that it um, changes color a bit. Now I've already taken this journal apart and bind it back together using a Coptic stitch and I know I will be doing so again, but meanwhile I still want to have a nice looking thread there. Now I can trim that little piece off. And then I took it um, through my sewing machine. At this point I decided that the tissue tape was not necessary, so I took it back off. As I already had uh, sewing over the tissue tape, I, I had to be careful on how I would take it off. And I also didn't want to um, rip any of the paper underneath because it had created a nice effect with the, with the ink. I'm adding a collage image again and you will find the link um, to the store where I bought this online on my blog again. So I'm just trimming it so that I can add it to my spread. I decided to stamp um, with my splattered mark stamp by Stamp Boutique, and I'm doing so with Distress Ink, but I'm shadow stamping, so I'm first stamping on another piece of paper before going in in my journal. This is Lindy's Gang uh, Magical Powder that I diluted in some water, and it will add a very nice um, metallic shine um, to the rest of the spread because I was a bit frustrated that I wouldn't have enough rusted, me rusted metal on uh, this spread. So that was my solution to um, go around that. Adding some distress ink on the edges of my image to take off the white. And then just gluing it down using tacky glue. I'm adding some shadow around my uh, collage image, just using a charcoal pencil and then blending it using a blending stump. And I'm also adding some highlights using a white uniball signal pen. And I'm blending it uh, using my finger. For my wording, I'm using my typewriter alpha, also by Stampotique, and I'm stamping it on some Canson paper um, using archival ink. Now I can trim it to the right size. And before I start um, embellishing my wording, I decide to add some stamping. Um, again, shadow stamping. So I'm using Distress Ink and before I'm stamping in my journal, I'm stamping on another piece of paper. And I'm very happy I did so because my first stamp was upside down. I'm spraying some Starburst on uh, my piece of paper and this will make the archival ink pop off from the uh, the paper it really has a nice effect on it. And once it's, it's completely dried, I'm adding the same uh, gelato on the edges again. And then using a baby wipe, I'm blending it very slightly. I didn't want to go in with water because my um, Starburst spray ink would react as well, so I wanted to keep it very light. 
Now again, I'm using cambric, you know this is one of my favorite products, so I just have to use it on almost every spread. Um, first I'm adding some more Distress Ink on the edges of my wording, just very lightly. And then I'm placing it on uh, the cambric fabric. And to do so, I apply a piece of double-sided tape on the back side of the wording, and then I just glue it on the cambric. Of course I had to add some sewing on the text as well, which I did, and then I'm pulling the threads to the front of the text so that I can uh, place a knot in them and keep them in place. I'm fraying uh, the edges of the cambric a bit more because it's too straight and then I'll just simply glue it down using uh, tacky glue. It's actually nothing fancy, but it had a really soothing effect on me to do the spread today. And then fraying the edges of the, the cambric more and more and more. If you like today's video, don't forget to hit um, the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to see you back next week. Um, I'm going back in with the splatters, with the magical that I've diluted in water. I'm protecting my collage image to do so, because I don't want it to get, it to, to get water on it. And I'm adding a piece of rusted metal on the side. Um, that's about it for today actually, I just added some more um, stamping. Don't forget to check out my blog if you'd like to celebrate uh, for the 100th Journal on Monday video and see you back next time. Ta-da!